Hello everyone, and welcome to Rare Charitable Research Reserve. My name is Tomlin, and I will be your guide throughout this interactive hike today. As we approach, we can see off to the left, this is the learning circle. If we were able to meet in person, this would be our starting point where we could do some introductions. But since we can't, I'll start by introducing you to Ellie. She is our bald eagle art piece that represents one of the species populations that, be, that can be found in this area. Her significance in presence here is to act as a visual reminder of the effects we can have on the bald eagle population due to pesticide use. Here is the learning circle. And as we begin, we will take a quick look at the map to get an understanding of where we are. We can see the slip barn is there off to the left. And as we zoom in, we are marked out on the map where we are now. Before we officially begin, I would like to acknowledge that this land has a rich and diverse Indigenous presence and that we would like to honour and respect the sovereignty of both First Nations in our area. The Anquahanwe peoples of Six Nations of the Grand River and the Anasinaabe peoples of the Mississauga of the Credit. Thank you to these nations who share their lands with us. As we enter into the trailhead of our hike, I just want to point out that this is an interactive video, so there will be points when you can roll over the screen and find information pop-ups and activities in place to help guide you through. A perfect example of what I'm talking about is if you roll your cursor over the right lower box at the bottom of your screen, you will see a plant glossary pop-up. Referring to your glossary, Try to find this purple flower. The glossary not only shows you what the plant looks like, but also lists a few fun facts and benefits that these plants provide for the surrounding environment and for us. As we continue along, just take in some of the beautiful colors of the fall season and peacefulness of this beautiful sunny day. As we start to approach, another interesting little tidbit is the goldenrod. As we look off to our right, we can see that they're spread all over this part of the field. This plant provides the perfect nesting site for gall flies. I wasn't able to find any today, but I do have an image of some of the larvae that can be found. Um, so if you're ever out on a walk and you see this golden plant, take a look along the stem. If you see a round bulb somewhere along the middle of it, this is where a gallfly larvae nests and lives while it is developing into an adult. If there's a small hole in the bulb that you have found, then it means that the gallfly has emerged as an, as an adult, very similar to a butterfly and its cocoon. As we continue along the path, we will be coming up to the Grand Trunk Trail, which is owned by the city of Cambridge and is not part of Rare Lands. At this point in the video, when we come up to the Grand Trunk Trail, you will have a decision to go either left to explore the Osprey Trail and learn about different habitats or we can head straight, which is a peaceful nature walk option. Please click on one of the two arrows to indicate the trail of your choice. 